Welcome back. If left alone at this point, the once thriving herd of bison on Payne's Prairie will only dwindle in number. The herd is now sterile following their controversial roundup in March of last year. TV20's Emily Burris tells us that doesn't mean they're going away. Despite petitions and protests, bison were removed and sent to sanctuary. But one year later, questions still surround the State Park Service's decision. We found out what's left for the bison that stayed and what happened to those that didn't. Gateway Farms in High Springs is home to all but your average farm animals. And for 26 Paynes Prairie bison, it became a temporary home. We bid on it and thought it would be interesting to work on the prairie since it, we're local and everything. It was a really great experience. David Hajos grew up raising exotic animals with his family. A little better. After winning a bid with the state, Hajos and his employees set out to corral the bison. After we all gave birth, we turned them back, turned them back out. Females and young sterilized males were returned to the prairie. Adult males were sent to High Springs. And it was their fate after removal that caught people's attention. Uh, of course, when folks thought we were just getting rid of them all together, uh, that stirred up a lot of passion, uh, uh, but that never was our intent. Protesters feared the bison would be sold for slaughter. There is nothing that uh, DEP or anybody else can do to stop them from going to um, game preserves or uh, the beef industry. But both Jowers and Hajos tell us that was never the case. Well, the contract that, that was let uh, to Gateway Farms did indicate that the animals would uh, be taken to uh, sanctuary where they would live out the rest of the, the, their natural lives. To learn their fate, we contacted the four sanctuaries the bison were sent to and were told that they are all still alive and well. Jower says their removal wasn't an environmental issue, but rather one of public safety. We're having additional issues with them uh, becoming a bit aggressive. Uh, some of the, uh, the, the males were getting uh, older and were getting more aggressive. We had several uh, escape incidents. But those incidents between bison and people, while worrisome, are rare. Further out on the prairie, grasses like these grow everywhere, and usually they're more than six feet tall. So bison sightings are few and far between. Yeah, that's buffalo hair right there. We set out in hopes of our own sighting and had plenty of signs they were nearby, but our tracking never led to any up close and personal encounters. Still, park officials say the herd is doing just fine, and there haven't been any incidents of animals escaping or being aggressive in the past year. It is certainly our intent to maintain a bison herd at Payne's Prairie Preserve uh, uh, for future generations to enjoy. Well, perhaps you'll have more luck tracking them down than I did. Jowers says the size of the herd will now be more closely monitored. Plans include introducing bulls for breeding or adding new sterile calves to the herd, depending on the size. Emily Burris, TV20 News.